do I solve this part of the question? What will Master Galileo say? He doesn't know how to square root. Galileo, I am sorry. I am not worthy to be your pupil. I am a failure. <laughs> I came from the future! <laughs> Tell me, fellow human, what year is this? It's just horrible! <laughs> what, who, me? I can't solve this part of the question! There is no way! There is just no way I can solve this! <laughs> oh, I never fear, fellow human, for this is what you need! Texas Instrument Calculator, the best calculator ever. Visit ti.com for more information. Hello and welcome to the best YouTube channel featuring me, your favorite online celebrity. Last week, I built a time machine. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> and I have successfully traveled back in time to the 17th century where I met Vincenzo Viviani, who was Galileo Galilei's disciple. Vincenzo Viviani will help me solve a physics question related to object motion and kinematics. And here he is, the man himself. Buongiorno a tutti! It's strange, why are we staring at this device? I will never understand future people. Sorry. Okay, let's go to the whiteboard. And so here we are, the filming booth. The whiteboard, we're gonna be watching Vincenzo Viviani teach us physics. I already wrote the question on the board, he's coming right now. I'm just gonna sit here, watch him solve the question for us. And yeah, we're gonna watch this man from the past solve a physics question. He's coming right now. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, here we are, here we are. Our people in the future, they're so rich. Yeah. Where do I stand? Stand over there. Here? Oh, okay. And you look up at the, yeah. the, the camera. Right. And, and uh, don't forget to introduce yourself, yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Vincenzo Viviani. I am from Italy. And uh, today I'm helping my good friend, future friend, um, with a physics question. Um, so the question is, Rex Things dropped his mother's vase out the window of his fourth story apartment 18.2 meters above ground. The question wants us to determine the time it took for it to reach the ground. This question is fairly easy. Just by reading the first part, the first sentence of the question, one can already tell a lot about the situation. The first thing ev every um, person must know before doing physics question is that any object accelerating towards that is moving sorry towards the center of the earth is accelerating at 9.8 meters per second 9.8 meters per second i hope you can see that um that is negative 9.8 meters per, guess, per second negative 9.8 meters per second square sorry we for the sake of the question we will have um, the convention would be down is negative going down is negative and going up is positive that is the usual the common convention in physics and that is acceleration acceleration okay and now by reading the first sentence of the question we can tell through the words that are given to us a lot of things as well the word dropped, for example, what does it mean? It means that you are holding something and you let it go. Why is this significant, you may ask? Well, before letting it go, the object was at rest. Thus, the initial velocity is zero. And so using this English word, we can find that the initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second okay that is very useful for the question and we are also given the, dis the displacement displacement the vase took so the change in position 
So the change in position, the change in position is equal to 18.2 meters. But not only 18.2 meters, it is negative, negative 18.2 meters. Why? Because the object started from a higher place and it ended up going down. And so its change in position must be negative. And so it's negative 18.2 meters. These three in pieces of information that are given to us are crucial for our for the solving of this question. And now they want us to find the time it took for it to reach the ground. We have five kinematic equations. Now, looking at the things that are given to us, which equation is the best? So which one has all three of those variables and, it, oh, and we must also have time? Yeah, time, or change in time. That is what we want to find. So four variables, acceleration, velocity, initial velocity, displacement, and time. By looking at our five equations, we find that this one is the most fitting. So change in position, displacement, is equal to initial velocity times multiplied by time plus one half acceleration times time squared. And once we have our variables and our equation, the next steps are very easy. It's just math. Okay? So we plug in, we enter our variables. And so displacement is negative 18 Point 0.2 meters, we don't have to write meters. Okay, displacement, change in position is equal to velocity, zero meters per second. It just cancels out. There is no fuss about this. It just vanishes. Okay? Because zero times anything is zero, so it's gone. It's equal to one half times acceleration, negative 9.8 times time squared and we continue negative 18.2 is equal to what is 9.8 divided by 2 negative what well, negative 4.9 and then multiplied by t squared <clears throat> And now we want to move this negative 4.9 to the other side. So then we can isolate this t squared. And so by using this wonderful and amazing tool, we find that negative 18.2 divided by negative 4.9 is equal to 3.71. And that is equal to time squared. And now it is so simple to find the answer thanks to this magnificent tool. t, or change in t, is equal to the square root of 3.71, which is 1.93, approximately. And what is the units for this? Seconds. Seconds. So it takes the vase 1.93 seconds to reach the ground and shatter. Honestly, Rex things, you are a naughty boy. I can't believe it. And there you have it. The answer is 1.93 seconds. And it's all thanks to this. This magnificent tool is what makes this possible. So. Everybody, believe in this. Believe in the calculator in Texas Instruments. And you will never fail. This is so wonderful. I can't believe it. This is so good. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, I have to stop Vincenzo Viviani because if I were to let him talk, he would go on for hours just describing how good, how wonderful the calculator is. And um, right now I am preparing to send him back into the past 1672, 
where he belongs. I can't keep him in the future forever. And like all good things, this just has to end. It's pretty hard for me as well. And yeah, we're preparing to say goodbye. And I am back home. Thank you for bringing me to the future, my friend. Farewell. Farewell. Farewell, Mr. Viviani. Ciao. Bye. Wait! You forgot this? Whew. Time traveling is tiresome. Let's see what's on the news. Probably just inflation. Recent inflation is not the only concern on people's minds these days. Archaeologists seemingly have found a calculator hidden deep within the personal documents of Vincenzo Viviano, who was Galileo Galilei's apprentice and disciple. We do not know what this means, but folks, this is exciting.